What's up, everybody? Happy Friday. I hope you all had a wonderful week, end of the week, anyway. Uh, let's put some units down, yeah? Let's start there. First, get some units down, then we'll, uh, we'll see what we're doing next. We have a few options to explore here this evening. All right, let's get some units down there. Who can? Hey, what's up? Happy Friday. It has been a very busy day and a very busy week, hasn't it? But we are into the weekend stretch now, so let's, uh, let's enjoy it, yeah? can I think we I think we are gonna go back to wasteland but I think we um I've had a couple of, of requests to handle some some new stuff as it comes out here so we're gonna check a look, few things out here Like Wasteland, it is on Game Pass. What's up, gals? Uh oh. Hey, what's up? It's Mr. Dan. He's here. Have a black screen? Tell me. You do. Have you witnessed their power? 
Why is that? We've all heard the legends. Every child has heard the legends of the cursed sea. All right, hold on. I'm gonna fix that. That's weird. Uh, we may not be able to stream that game because I didn't run OBS as administrator, but I'm pretty sure I did, so that's kind of messed up. Huh. Let's see. Yeah, there is a lot of snow in Minnesota, so that makes sense. That checks out, I assure you. Yeah, well, I guess we're not playing the, the black screen game. After all. A shame. All right, let's try something else. Oh god, this one's gonna be scary. No comment on that, JRC. We couldn't see it, so I'm not gonna say. against every odd and hardship. This world is built over millennia of friendship, loyalty, and love. And that is what fools like to believe. In times immemorial, the Nexamon had a merciless king. Omnicron was his accursed name. This monstrosity led his brethren into a grand crusade against all of mankind. And as such, the Nexamon Scourge tried to eradicate us into oblivion. But we stood strong, and a group of brave heroes found a way to outsmart Omnicron by taming his own children and turning them against himself. We were able to slay the King of Monsters and defy the Wheel of Fate. Victory was at our grave. Yep, yep, yep. I'll give you a hint. It was not Xenoblade 2. Omnicron's legacy is now barren. Nothing but a sad whisper in the wind. Finally free from his shackles, the Nexamon had become our companions for life. Our world our people and our future were set towards a bright tomorrow. But that day never came. For the true age of extinction has just begun. Whoa.
What's up, Zed Lars? How you doing? Drop a unit. God, what the hell is this game? Isn't that true? You know it, Malk. Nice. That's clever. Zedlars, it's a new game. A very bold new game. A very bold new game. I'll turn down the volume in a sec here. Hang on, let me get to the options. Alright, we should be good. Let me know if I need to change the volume a little, a little bit or anything like that. 50 coins! Twenty coins! Uh, yeah, Thorpe, I can do that if we, uh, if we get karaoke to go again. Listen, I know you guys are asking for the name of the game, alright? I know you're asking for it. Nothing really, Zedlars. I actually toned down Nightbot a lot, Julie, so I don't know what you did. Alright, alright, I told you- okay, I'll tell you. The game is Nexamon. Did you use capital letters, Julie? That's another thing. The game is called Nexamon, it's on Steam right now. As to what it is, we don't know. We will find out. Sutton, what's up? I bet that's the bad guys. No, I guess not. They're, they're good guys. <laughs> That's good to know, Bosby. I mean, we haven't even done anything yet, but okay. You guys want me to move my camera so you don't have to, so you can read the text, or... The text probably doesn't matter much, to be honest with you, but... These are our Pokemon trainers. Alright, I'll move the box. Hang on. We're gonna probably miss some other stuff, though. It's probably going to cover something else up. There you go, look at that, I floated. Nexomon! Don't touch me. 
The northern woods. I have till midnight to fetch my first companion. What is that thing? JRC, that is the appropriate response to this situation. Thank you. Can I save? What are you talking about, son? Oh, we ain't starting early. Wait, one of the is one of the trainers a cat or some kind of little bear thing? What in the world? Oh god. What is even happening in this game? No, Julie, this is a... Uh, Pokemon-like game. At least I think. We'll have to change the uh, stream game name in here in a second after we get the first battle underway. Vorpa, what's up? You're just in time. We have not captured our first Nexomon yet. Okay, this is on, so this looks like a good level one enemy. Capturing Bosby. It's not a ball, it's a triangle. This is definitely isn't Pokemon. Whoa, look at all these choices for my first Nexamon. Okay, I totally want to go Ghost, but whatever the hell this thing is, is also very intriguing. Okay, I'll do a poll. I'll do a poll, Malk. We're gonna do a poll. Get ready to vote. This is the poll for the two minute countdown on my starting Nexomon. Please participate on Twitch. Your decision will will select our first Nexomon. I'm leaving it to the winds. You got about a minute to, to mull that over and get your votes in. I know which one I want, but I could go either way, so. Dude, this is epic as hell. You know, Pokemon only gives you three choices at the start. This game gave us a whole selection of elements. 
including elements you wouldn't traditionally get till much later in a Pokemon game. Which Pokemon... Oh, I'm sorry, Nexomon will we pick? A lot of choices. A lot of choices here. The poll is winding down. you got about 30 seconds to vote. If you haven't voted, you do not get a say. And the poll is done. Oh, there it is. Wow, the Goth Ghost won by a huge percent. The Goth Hunter Pokemon won by 76% of the vote. Can't argue with the poll. We choose Behilda, a ghost Nexamon. Likes to detach its head to scare opponents. I mean, it wasn't rigged, okay? I let, it, I let the crowd decide, even. Okay. Nexomon, Jager is. Is that on Steam today? I don't know if it's on any other platforms. The crowd may have been wrong, but I'm sure there'll be a cho chance to catch more Nexomon later. Phantom Abyss. No, that's, that's lame. Okay, this doesn't really have great skills, but hey, Phantom Abyss sounds cool. Oh, what a twist. We couldn't beat the giant dragon. Yes, I did get wrecked. Who wants to bet that's the boss of the game? <laughs> okay, now we're down in a pit with this little cat thing. Does anybody else think we could be having a better Friday? MX, drop me a unit. Yeah, let's wander around in this grave because the dragon's attacking the town. That sounds like a good idea. Somebody living down here. This is the most bizarre start to a game, I think, ever.
So now a ghost is going to teach us how to catch Pokemon. This is insane. You're right, Malk, this is highly advanced player choice and progression, I agree. They already gave us huge choices right at the beginning. Seven Nexamon to pick from at the start. Or was it even more than that? Maybe even like ten. Now we're picking flowers with a ghost. Sweet Jesus. Oh, it actually tells the percentage. What's up with that? Wait, what the hell was that? I have to, like, put a sequence in to catch them? Oh my god, who made these designs? Oh, I better find XP share. I attack with Phantom Abyss. Rubby. Rubby. Yeah, we caught a Rubby, you guys. You guys, we caught a rubby, all right. The uh, the phone uh, menu that you see is a input that I have to put in in order to throw the pokeball. I'm sorry, pokey triangle, whatever they call them in this game. This game's got quests, it's got Pokemon, it's got everything.
Battle time! Let's get that. Wow, not a whole lot of people. People want the new event. Well, the new event's coming next week, guys. I want to let you know that the new event starts next week. It's called Badlands. It's incredibly awesome. Very uh, Mad Max Wasteland style. Alright, get in there. Listen, I didn't make the name of the Pokemon, okay? It's literally called a Rubby. I like to call these totally not a Rattata. I have no idea of Orpal. I don't know anything about this game except- Oh my god, what is that? Oh my god. Yeah, we're getting worked by this, uh, mushroom tree. Got him. I wanted Shroom Tree. Now we gotta go heal the crew up. Luckily we found the NPC that does that, because we're pro. Uh, Malcolm, maybe we'll do that later. Right now, we're, uh, we I like to use the default names. We had a lot of people who, who wanted to get named last time that didn't get named, so I don't want to like leave anybody out this time, that's why. We're all named together. Yep, like my pal Rubby. Oh no, another one of these tree things. This thing's like dangerous.
<laughs> oh my. We got him. We got the cow. Listen, Malk, I can't move everything. I moved the camera already, okay? But yeah, alright, I'll move it. What do you want? Where do you have to where do I move it? A little to the left? Alright. I got it, I got it. Then people aren't gonna be able to see anything on like uh stream writers. Alright, we're good. I know, Mel. We gotta get ready for Badlands, though, okay? serve food to the Pokemon and make them catch them. That's right. That's right, Croc. Uh, Captain Crunch was the best, though. The Cocoa Rebels is pretty good. We do have a Rubby in the team. I'm not happy about it, but he's in the team. Okay, that's done. Oh, I don't remember the pattern. I 
I don't remember it. Uh... Alright, somebody write it down this time. It's right. Right, up, right, left. Up. Did somebody write that down? Thank you, Mount. Thank you, Malik, for assisting there. We definitely wanted whatever this vault key does. Thank you, Malakor, for the uh, for the sub. Five months. Believe that? Look at I found a masket companion, whatever that is. Five months for Melkor. Thanks, Melkor, for both solving the maze and giving us a manatee. Always appreciated. How can you pass up this Nexamon music? And then the sounds of the manatees. Sudden, what if I told you I did know that? I just want to thank Melkor. He got us through the maze. And he subbed. That's like a double bonus. I don't think you can actually do that. Bye, Thor. You're, you're gonna miss the next amount of the dragons. Rubby. We do have a Rubby in the crew. Twenty-five coins just sitting there. Well, 
Watch my step at the bridge. What the hell does that mean? Look at this vast open world, so many directions I can go. Yo, she'll buy a rubby office for 250 coins. I'm taking that deal. We didn't like him anyway. Rubbies are everywhere. Yeah, exactly. 250 for a rubby is uh, pretty pretty pricey. Look at this thing. They cannot be serious. See, now we got a doggo. That's way better than a rat. Ah, Spikus! There's gotta be a way to move him easily. I don't want the skunk to be in slot two. When I catch it.
Hmm. Can't move him. There's gotta be a command to do that. Phantom Abyss. Sweet, I got Soul Feeder. Now we're gonna start destroying people. Find EXP share. I've been so spoiled by uh, the Pokemon games. is no match for my ghost friend. Oh, yo, they put chocobos in here. Held his clean house. Wasn't that an amazing fight? We just destroyed him. Ultimate destruction. I thought I was supposed to go to the right and find my friends, but apparently now I'm flying to some... floating to some other island somewhere crazy. Vast open world, okay? Shredder, what's up? Wow, Pokemon Centers have really come a long way. Well, yeah, Shredder, it's been a long week, but, uh... You know, we're in the weekend now.
We're settling in with the biggest hit summer hit, uh, Nexomon. Oh, these guys have special Nexo traps. Okay, I just blow my money on Nexo traps. Just supposed to use it for crafting or selling. Oh, I'm not selling these to you then. F you, buddy. We're crafting the big stuff. Huge. Maybe we can catch some exotic uh, Nexomon here before we start our adventure, huh? We no longer have a rubby in the party, sadly. What is this? We definitely have to catch this thing. That makes complete sense, Jersey. Wow. so much sense and is definitely going to be what it does. I didn't think that would kill it. Oh, whoa, we gotta get this. We gotta get the elephant.
Man, I hope you have enough people to take this fight. Remember, next event starts next week. So that's gonna be awesome. So that means event chests will be back and lots of other cool stuff. Wow, we destroyed that. That wasn't even a fight. And that was not even a battle. Which I guess I can't complain about. Nexo traps are expensive. Oh my god, he's just cost me 200 gold. Hi, Dr. Mono. Battling a fierce Noki. back to town, but it looks like we do. Uh, yeah, the squirrel guy, that's right. I remember that. Oh no, I did not want to fight you! Oh god, no. I guess we're gonna see what happens if you die here. I don't have a team that can fight right now at all. Yes, Von Von, it is. By the way, you got a character in Wasteland last night. You weren't around to enjoy it. How do we not have that guy? I had not heard about that until you just posted it.
Hello, Ketchy. It's in the it's in the stream name as always. That's very unfortunate. I did not. I was not aware of that at all. It's very unfortunate, gang. I'm very sorry to hear that. Hi, Ketchy. It's Nexomon. The big head that's sweeping the nation. news of a very sad death in chat. I must be breaking now because I didn't see that today. That's, that's awful. Cancer, cancer is a terrible thing, an absolute terrible thing. I'd say that's accurate, Dr. Mano. I wonder what happens if we're running a stamp. Oh yeah, we're getting this thing. Rich Dizzy, the Stream Raiders is currently on a generic overworld. We'll be moving to the next event next week. They announced that today. The next event is Badlands. It is uh, Mad Max theme. Very cool. We got a sneak preview of it today. That begins next week. The map for now is actually at its most boring. But you should still definitely get in and play.
Oh my god, how did he not cap? Slur, thank you for the subscription. Thanks for being here, yo. Or Slayer, I'm not sure. But either way, you brought us a great manatee, and I uh, thanks so much for the uh, for the sub. Really appreciate it. Thanks for being here. That was very cool. We got a manatee. It's always good to get manatees up in here. Thanks again for the sub. Yeah, really appreciate it. Okay, Rich, yeah, it's, uh, I definitely recommend playing on PC. Bon Bon, we've only been playing for like less than an hour or so, so it's pretty hard to tell. So far, the answer to your question is no. Oh, do not try to play with the controller, in my opinion, Dr. Mono. I don't know, Rich. I don't really... I hate running anything on laptops, so... Can't offer you any help there. Games always seem to have problems running on laptops. No matter how strong they are. Yeah, but since you have it on Game Pass, like, who cares, right? Where was the freeze proc? Yeah, Rich, I'm not saying you need a desktop, I'm just saying it's always, uh, you never know what you're gonna get when you're running on a laptop. Get that poison in there, shroom tree. This is not early access, Dr. Mono. This is released on Steam, and I don't know where, if anywhere else, but definitely on Steam. I don't know if it's on any other platforms.
Well, just in case people wanted to know, you know, if they wanted to play it on PS4 or something, you know. I don't know if it came out anywhere else. That would be pretty cool, Julie. Yo, this guy was talking trash. He's got nothing. Easy mode, easy mid. Sutton, you bet. Oh boy, it's gonna get rough out here, isn't it? It's for real now, Rich. It's for real. There's no going back. If I could give him a cruff, I could get a golden nexo trap. I don't have a cruff. And that's what I'm talking about, Croc. That's what I'm talking about. Manatees, chillin'. Ducks. Everybody's here. We gotta get this thing. It's a bomb frog. We got him. Got him. Don't you enjoy that, Rich? Yes, the dastardly Pokemon known as Yummo. Is this is this an actual invisible 
enemy or did the asset just not load? I could believe either. Come on, Rich, where else can you find this high-quality entertainment? The capital city of Prome. This is it, man. We made it to Perum. I don't freaking believe it. This is hell of a... It's a hell of a thing. Alright, so the game basically told me, go north, stupid. Once we get our bronze guild badges, I bet we can do all kinds of stuff, including using the warp facilities. We'll see. This is pretty, pretty heavy. Yeah, Rich Dizzy, as I've probably already told you, Minecraft Dungeons, not a great game, but a good game to play with your kid, for sure. If you're looking for an ARPG to play with your son, yeah. There's not too many kid-friendly ARPGs out there. Wow, look at all these tamers, you guys. JRC, we're all tamers in here. We just did it. We got the bronze tamer badge. We are on our way. We did it. We're official now. That was it. That was the thing to tell me that I needed to talk to people with stars over their heads, which I learned in the first five minutes. Alright. Those rewards suck. But I'm gonna do it anyway.
Rich, we get to see Joe Mad's work on a League of Legends title, I think, next week, yeah? That was the, uh, the st stealth announcement I saw today. I think I saw something about that, yeah. Oh, it's a pig! We gotta get this. Yes, Rich, they did mention it. They did mention it, but they said they were gonna show us something else on Monday, I think. I think there was a tweet hinting at that. No, just just a just a tweet from like the games of summer or whatever. Yes, Croc, we were just talking about that earlier. Very sad. We have got to get the pig. Let's look at that adorable critter. We got him. We got him. Oh, gals, he's going to the team. This little Nexamon makes use of its fat to power its fire attacks. Jesus. <laughs> what the hell is this game? Yeah, we got him. He's in the crew. said to heal my creatures first, so I'm gonna do that. You know, we're in this game to win it, guys. I hope you're ready for a long weekend. I made the pig. Remember, I let you guys choose our main, Nexamon. You did this. This game's at least as good as Sword and Shield, don't you think? Oh, Von Bond, you missed it. We had like 10 different starters to pick from. The classic Pokemon trio, right? Red, blue, and green. But then there were like literally seven others we could have picked. No easy task to get down there, my goodness. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Von, Von Bon. Oh, they have rarities. I didn't notice that. I need to pay attention to that. We need to have, like, all ultra rares are better in this, in this, up in this. Three hundred for a water whistle. I'm gonna say no. Oh, 
Oh! Guess what time it is. Yo, where are my stream raiders at? I know it wasn't a big map, but come on, gang. I guess I need to put the stream title up as stream raiders, yeah. That's how you get people. Listen, this game was like 20 bucks on Steam. And... I mean, it's not gonna be Sun and Moon, probably. But I, I gotta tell ya. I think I, you know, as, as derivative as it is, it can't be any worse than a Pokemon game right now, right? This doesn't have any dumb Dynamax stuff. Alright, we got lots of, actually, we have at least lots of gold chests coming up. Gold, gold, gold. So three golds in a row. And then one break, and then another gold, and then the boss. So, like, this is actually pretty lucrative for a non-event map. It's coming to mobile next month, Dr. Mono. So you'll be able to play. Finally. If you haven't already joined us in Stream Raiders, type exclamation point battle and click the link. And join in on the fun today. It's fast. It's fun. And it's free. Join today. That's what I said, Rich. Mobile next month. And now, back to the totally not Pokemon Pokemon game. I actually kind of admire the balls on these on these devs to just make Pokemon not Pokemon, you know? Three ghost skills have 100% accuracy. Huh, is that good? It might be good when I get an accurate, an inaccurate power move. Alright, BRB gang. Okay, we're back. Yes, Melk, it's, uh, it's very sad.
Yeah. F cancer, man. Yeah, you gotta love these monster designs, huh? Hi, Duelist. I hope you're having a good evening. I know nobody is, but... Let's, let's give it a whirl, huh? That's right, Rich. That was, uh, we, the, the community voted on that. Oh my god, Malk. Yeah, there was a good evening. The evening you found the D-Squad, alright? Yeah, the starters are ultra rares. We gotta get an ultra rare team. We gotta find the dragons. Uh oh, Lumbee. I don't think that's how it works, Milk, sadly. Yes, it was just bait. I can't catch him. This is a trainer fight. It's a trainer fight, Malk. When I find it, I'll catch it. I can't catch you in a trainer battle, you guys. You guys not know how that works? I know you weren't, Malk, but you know what? I think you're cool anyway. Jesus, this thing's just a testicle. There's no design here.
I mean, I'm sorry, JRC, if that was a little crude, but that's the reality. Not bad. Oh, thanks, Malik. That's that was very kind of you, and and completely unnecessary. But thank you. Yeah, well, you know, it may be a family stream, and you know, there's families don't exist without testicles. All right, so there you go. Kills and I haven't had Chick-fil-A in, in many years, but yes, I have had it. I had it a lot when I traveled. It was always a good airport fare. Uh, how do you cheer? Croc, you have to... Somebody else can... Not everybody knows how to cheer. They should know. That should be a very valuable life skill. Uh, no, you can cheer whatever you want, Croc. Anything you like. Mount knows all the levels. Thank you, gals. Much appreciated. An adorable little unicorn to go with the bids. Appreciate it. Thanks, gals. Got Moxie. And they know they are not Bitcoin. I wish they were. But they're bits, they're pretty cool too. So Croc, I think you just type slash cheer and then the value. I'm not entirely certain. I always use the little like I use the uh the, the bit cheer thing that's next to the emojis. I don't know how any of us does it. Killzone says I'm at the Chick-fil-A drive-thru right now. Do families watch this? Yes, kills they do. Um Yes, I click the little pyramid thing, like Gals does. That's correct. That's how I that's how I cheer. Anyway. Uh, Killzone, get the nuggets. The chicken nuggets there are great. They do, you know, okay, it's a family stream. Listen, dude, testicle is like PG, alright? That was probably mentioned in the Goonies or something. Oh, man, this is the, for the first quest. This is really advanced, man. They're giving us the Pokemon game we always wanted, and I'm loving every minute of it. In the Midwest, here we we do love our Culvers. I don't think it has better quality than Chick Fil A. Chick Fil A is just really clean and and enjoyable. Culver's has its own benefits, all right? There's something about a butter burger and a stack of fat curds, all right? Is this a boss? This is boss music. Sharp! Sharp VGC. Thanks for the follow, Sharp. Culver's curds are not even that great, but you do get a big stack of them. And they go good with the rest of their, their greasy food.
Honestly, if you live in the Midwest, Culver's cheese curds are probably the lowest on the on the uh, on the food chain of cheese curds. You got way better stuff, but it's like the only fast food joint that has cheese curds, right? So of course you're gonna get them. Culver's is a Midwest food chain, Killzone. Burger place. Sort of semi-dinery. They have uh, awesome milkshakes, cheese curds, and uh, the the signature butter burger. Which is not a burger made with butter, but they do but, uh, butter the bun. They butter brush the bun. Which most fast food places do not do. You know, Julie, we talk in generalities here, okay? Give me a break. And Melkor, thank you for the uh, manatee. I did bring out the uh, our, our very special friend Pokemon here, the Branipus. You know, A&W was great growing up. You go to the mall, you go to A&W, and they give you those big frosty mugs. Listen, Killzone, if you don't know what a cheese curd is, I'm not here to educate you, alright? I mean, that is what it is, Rich. We just totally beat not Team Rocket. There you go, Croc, you figured it out. But there's no alerts unless you get to 25, because people were abusing the system and spamming pennies. I like a clean stream, Malk. I like a clean stream, alright? We get excited when we're supposed to get excited. I know what Eddie allows on his stream. Eddie's stream is his stream, and this is my stream. Oh my god, look at this thing! It's a Fire Hydrant Pokémon! They have beat them at their own game! They did it before they did it. They beat Pokémon to their own designs! Thanks, Croc. Uh, you know, hey, the karaoke may not happen, it may happen. If you get lucky, I might- if you don't hit it, I might extend the duration, you never know. I like you guys. No promises, though. Karaoke is a special event, and is, uh... It's not taken lightly around here. Yeah, whatever kills and I'm also lactose intolerant, but I eat cheese all the time. You just have to mix it with other stuff. Rich Dizzy, thank you so much. I do appreciate that, I really do. And that goes for all of you. Bit cheering and no bit cheering, you know I appreciate every each and every one of you for being here every day. It means a lot to me. It's my dream to make this stream, you know, a destination for people to come and hang out and chill every night, so the fact that a lot of you do that means a lot to me. And those bits go to making the stream even cooler than it already is. With cool lights, gaming chairs, and uh, all kinds of other stuff, and games, and all, all kinds of other fun stuff that we bring to the stream. I am working on a, on a big project next, so... That should be really fun when I can talk about it for the stream. If we get there. I'm glad, Rich. That's the environment we try to foster here. No, Dr. Mono, there's no karaoke. Karaoke, for one thing, karaoke has not been secured at this time. For another thing, I like to give people enough notice so that they can plan to take time off or, or be around for the karaoke. So I don't like to just be like, we're doing it tomorrow. Because there are some people that need a little bit of planning to get to it and they really want to see it, so I like to give a week notice. 
Not because I wouldn't do it tomorrow, but because it's, it's fair to everybody. Musical note, there once was a genie with a nine-foot weenie. He showed it to the lady next door. She thought it was a snake, so she hit it with a rake. Now it's only five foot four. Musical note. Musical note. I love the musical note part of it. Croc, if we hit if we hit the karaoke goal this weekend, then I'll do it next weekend, yes. That's how it works. We have a one week uh, time frame between the two things. And thanks for the bits milk. And again, we do that because uh, that way I can make announcements in Discord and on the stream and let people know when it's happening. Because otherwise they'll be like, Dan, I wasn't here for the karaoke and I hate you. And I'll be like, dang. If only I could have given some notice. We got it, we got the crew. An air burb. Seagulls are like trash tier birds though, so I'm sending it to storage. What the hell is this? Are we going the right way? I thought we were supposed to find a frozen lake. So you can run out of stam in this game too, just like Temtem uses a stam system instead of a, uh, instead of a, you know, move usage system. And then weighs the moves based on that. Yeah, Von Bon, I know what the system is called. You, you can probably guess why I didn't say it on the stream. I can imagine that would have been a lot of cheap laughs. You guys are out of control tonight. Well, Malk, you do what you gotta do. I'm not gonna do it. I love ghost Pokemon, that physical, like, near immunity is so good. That's correct, Rich. I was being scientific, okay? No cheap laughs here. Ghost-type damage with a 20% crit rate. Ooh. PP, 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 PP. P P P P P P P P P P P P Polo Polo. I'm glad he. I, I, the, the best part about that is that Malky is the lowest bit value possible for text to speech to say that. People wonder. People wonder why I have text to speech on the on the limit I do. We're very high class, you're very high class humor, thanks Malk, you really, uh, you really brought the IQ of the stream up by like 20 points.
I, I'm sure. Of course, it was funny, Rich. We keep it very, very highbrow humor here. Oh, the greed wallet. Wow, battles give 10% more coins and it can be stacked? Wow. That is the greed wallet. Screw Pokemon. Yeah, so that was a completely optional area. We just wandered the wrong way from where we were supposed to go, apparently. Where the hell are we? Oh yeah, Rubby. I remember this guy. I don't even want to catch him again. I don't even want to waste the Pokeball on it. Really, we did the Goddess Here thing. That was a couple days ago. Oh, the Larkito, of course! <laughs> oh god! I thought that was in the game! I thought that was a mosquito sound. I would not have been surprised. Mwax, do you have, do you have an issue with our with our beautiful Nexamon? Well, let me tell you, Gals Got Moxie, Malcolm made a fart noise, okay? That's what happened. That's the big joke. After sharing that lovely sound effect with everyone, that's what he did next. Rubby went away, MX. We sold Rubby. Rubby went away. Instead, we have a, uh, a scrotum, a scrotum Necomon. I can't believe I have that sound in there. At the same, uh, at the same price as everything else. That's got to change. That one and John Cena are both highly abused. Rich really text to speech is 200 bits cheer. And then anything you say with that cheer will go into the text to speech. Alternatively, for 50 bits, you can use the uh, the sound effect thing that Malk was using. Uh, it's, if you click on the overlay, there's a bunch of custom sound effects to pick from. I know, I know. You want everyone wants text to speech for for one bit, but trust me, you would not want to be here on the stream if I had enabled that. Trust me on this.
I, I've experimented with different bit points. I think that one is very reasonable for text to speech. All right, let's get this one going. This one's a gold one, so people are gonna make money. There's lots of treasure chests, lots of lots of good stuff to get. <laughs> NYX, you be quiet about that. I remember when that was like one of the original memes. Alright, another gold chest. How about gold chest all night, folks? Because we got it. Home of the gold chest path. Only I, only the only I, the commander, could bring you four gold chests and a boss back to back to back to back. Other other commanders, they just can't do that. So stick here. Like, share, subscribe, and click that battle uh, link there, and you can join the fight today. It's fun, trust me, it really is. Pretty addictive, too. Alright. Pokemon time. Oh. Wow, that is the worst. Why do they even have that as an option? I think that is the worst thing on that whole blurp soundboard. That's actually the worst thing ever. It's a little bit of hidden history from the uh, the Dance Next stream. Baby Shark, I had to raise the price on three times back when I used to have it because people would not stop playing it. We will have a convention. <laughs> oh, it doesn't have the whole song. Uh, Snail with the Cold Shell, I don't know. I don't think so. I wish... I, Drilly, I'm sorry. I don't want... You, by saying that, you know what they're going to do. Uh, Dr. Mana, we are going to do a Dan National Convention. The Decon, as it is called, is uh, is going to happen after, after COVID clears up, okay? Uh, details will be provided in the Discord, yada yada yada. We'll plan that after we go back to normal society. It's gonna be a while. But eventually there will be a decon. So look forward to that in the very far future. I will be planning that with some of the best event organizers in the business. Play it forward, drop a unit, bro. Don't so yelling, poggers my doggers. Oh, and uh, P.S. He welcome you to the jungle. Hmm, that's a very specific quote. Uh, play it forward. The new the new season of Stream Raider starts next week. No no day next week that we know yet, but it's gonna be awesome. We're also gonna have PvP next week on Thursday.
It definitely won't be bigger than Dashcon. That won't be hard at all. If just the people in here, in this room right now, come, we'll be bigger than Dashcon. Did it, I don't think Rich did it right. You have to have a space in there, I think, Rich. Um, it won't be near the city's Doctor Mono. We're gonna have it. We're gonna be a destination event. You'll learn more about that later. There you go, Rich. You got it. Lo there, do I see my father? Lo there, do I see my mother and my brothers and my sisters? Lo there, do I see the line of my people back to the beginning? Lo, they do call to me. They bid me take my place among them in the halls of Valhalla, where thine enemies have been. Vanquish where the brave shall live forever, nor shall we mourn but rejoice for those that have died the glorious death. Okay, that was something. Oh my god, was that you? I hate you. I hate you! <laughs> you actually got me on that one. I can't believe it. Fuck you. I did say that, Rich. You're a real jerk, you know that, Malk? I'll be RB. Hello, I'm back. You know, play it forward. Not got me that time. What can I say? It's a good got him. You know, Lazarus, I could tell you that I was playing along with that moment, but I wasn't. Wait a minute, hmm. I gotta, at least one of these puzzles has to be solved, huh?
No, Gavin, the stream raiders is up right now. Get in. There's no update rolling out right now, Gavin. There was one earlier today. Oh, the bloopish. Bub. You too, Dr. Mana. Gavin, I don't know what to tell you. Just try to load it again. Because it should be up. We're playing right now. Expansion is not till next week, though. time the milk played really loud knocking sounds and I thought it was real. I didn't remember it either. Thank you for the raid, Kim. I really do appreciate that. Uh, obviously, I was going to raid you again, but you beat me to it. Thank you so much for the raid, and thank you, Malk, for uh, the John Cena, which will certainly scare some people away. People love that one, don't they? I was just watching John Cena in the, uh, in the new episode of Total Bellas. Yes, Austin, we have talked... Uh, Adam, we have talked about uh, the sad news quite a bit. As people learn it, it's come up quite a few times. So if you want to, if you want to, you can uh, you can continue to talk about it if you wish. So then I can stop you from doing that. It's always great to see Kim. I'm glad she's here. That one is actually the worst. I hate that one. It sounds like it's right next to me, man. Yo, Adam, you joke.
Okay, what the hell? How am I not figured this one out yet? Yeah, Mike's exactly. I'm wearing like stereo surround sound, you know. Yeah, you know, hey, Malik, you, you knew what he said, all right? You, you challenged his ultimatum. I'm sure the solution is super easy. It's just like I I know I'm missing it just like barely, right? I'm French frying when I should pizza. I swear though, there's gotta be like one possibility that I haven't done. But I'm not seeing it. Correct, Dan Phantom, thank you for pointing that out. It's very scary. There we go. I don't know how it happened, but it happened. Alright, so I'm good. Alright, Rich, we're not talking about Rubby, okay? Nobody's allowed to talk about Rubby. Dan Phantom, I probably thought what you thought of Gamescom opening night. But I keep trying to tell people, this year is not going to be what, what video game conferences look like going forward, alright? This is a very unique year. I don't think it's about difficulties with doing things on the internet. I think it's about creating hype about stuff that isn't maybe that hyped. Uh, for many reasons, there's so many different elements that go into this, but... You can't create the same way you used to because of COVID, and so many delays and cancellations have... So many delays have happened because of COVID that people don't even know about. That's just how it's going to be this year. That's the story of this year, so, like... Get used to it for now. Digital events will be much better in the future. It's like I said at the beginning of the year, just just write it off. Next year, assuming we deal with COVID in a reasonable fashion, uh, things will return to normal and you'll see tons of stuff. Tons of incredible stuff.
I know it's hard, and in fact this has implications, because the perception is that all these events that are digital are complete, you know, people are really coming down on them from a, uh, from that perspective, and I don't blame them. They have not been entertaining, and the reveals haven't been good. So... That is something that, that's gotta be, that's a reality. But it's not because digital events suck, it's because <laughs> everything sucked this year and everything got bounced. Whether or not people care about that, or can, can contextualize things with that, it, I, un it ironically may bring E3 and other uh, conventional events back from the brink of death, because they're going to see bad results from these. Which is hilarious, actually. The world's a funny place, isn't it? Oh, sure, JOC. I'm sure there were there were nice things that looked fun and looked interesting, but it was not a Gamescom Gamescom, you understand? Just like E3 wasn't E3. E3 didn't even exist, you know? It's a new world. It's a new world for the next six months-ish. And then we go back to normal. Dan, you'll see plenty of it on the stream. I'm planning to play it day one. We gotta get through this game first, obviously. Oh, we have to fight a dragon. Navalis. Can't resist everything. Wow, this dude is serious business. water, and I have two fire Pokemon. This is going to be terrible. Come on, Piggo, land the burn! Oh. I tried any kind of, like, dots or anything I can get going on this guy. There we go. Poison always, always top tier. It looks like it's percentage based in this game too, which means I'm in good shape. You did good, Shroom Tree. You did good. That was actually quite a difficult fight. It's a good thing I sucked the poison. Good deal, Gavin. You're just in time.
You know, I don't hate it. I don't hate it to serve the master at all. Despite it being, you know, shamelessly derivative of Pokemon, it's not doing a bad job. Oh, we unlocked the warp points. Hey, Malik, thanks for your 176th sub and 111th birthday. Uh, that's 176 gifted subs for Malkin here. Uh, the Master, welcome. I know you've been here a lot, but I think that's the first time. Maybe the first time? I don't know. Maybe not. 176, yeah, very nice. Thanks for being here, Master. And obviously, thank you, Malka. I didn't count the one that I found over in Hawaii. Yeah, Master, I've heard that too. Uh, I know Temtem did that too as well, being a harder Pokemon. This was definitely harder than Pokemon. That first boss was actually much more difficult than any boss in Pokemon, but that doesn't say much, obviously. Pokemon is designed to be beaten very easily. Not that that was like super hard or anything, but it was certainly harder than a Pokemon boss. Stores offer more and better items as you progress to the story. Of course they do. Yeah, you know, Pokemon was really big when I was growing up. So that's how I got into it. The problem with Pokemon is it didn't really grow up at all. Hey, healthy poo, it was my pleasure, man. All right, another big adventure ahead of us, gang. Put a lot of thought into this, maybe more than Pokemon.
Sword and Shield were a snooze fest, and Sun and Moon honestly wasn't much better. Uh, I streamed through Sun and Moon here. I really liked, you know, the concept of Wild Zone. The Wild Zone was smart, but should have been the whole game, right? Oh, we got a battle! We got a battle! Battle! Ah, oh, crap. Uh, we gotta wait for the game updates before we can run the battle. If you're not already battling with us, consider it. Click that link and drop a unit today. It's a lot of fun. For realsies. Uh, it's installing, guys. Sorry, it, it said it needed an update. Don't you love those mid-battle updates? This will take like five seconds. It's all good. Yeah, Dan, I, the Wild Zone at least shows that they're willing to do some kind of innovation with that series. Like, I get it. They don't want to mess with a, with a, with a, with perfection, right? They don't want to mess with a sure thing. I understand that completely. At the same time, you got to change it up a little bit. And Dynamax is not changing it up a little bit. Dynamax was the worst, most boring mechanic they could have possibly done. Found a pile of garbage. Wow. This uh, this game really hits close to home, doesn't it? I know the battle's ready. Hang on, I'm installing stream All right, it just got installed. I gotta reload it. Pokemon Tax would be cool. I know, hey, you know Dynamax is garbage. There's like no excuse for it. Now let's do this fight. Gold chests all night, baby. I know they're not event gold chests, but they're still gold chests. They do have loot in them, I can confirm this. Yeah, you know, Dan Phantom, I don't know how Fate Tactics did commercially, but it's a cool game, and I hope it does make it to Switch. Be a good fit. Yo, Gal's got Moxie, you did work this fight, for sure, Aziz. Thanks, Croc. Man, this uh, this Pokemon music on top is kind of weird. Hey, Gretz, lots of rewards. I told you, lots of loot. And guess what? It's next. Another gold chest. And guess what? Badlands arrives next week. So I hope you're ready for Badlands. It's gonna be freaking amazing. We got to see a small sneak preview today, and I flipped out, alright? Looks amazing. Should we go try to capture a dragon? Hi, Shinola. How are you doing? Uh -huh. 
You're not a Silver Tamer yet, which is the recommended rank for the Dragon Islands, but I can still come if I insist. I like it. They warn you, they tell you, but they let you go if you want to be dumb. Oh, and you know we're going. We want to catch a dragon, right? I can imagine we probably don't have the resources to catch one of these dragons. It's probably really hard to catch. Remember when we get destroyed here that they sold us not to go to this. Right on, Chanel. Right on. I hear ya. I worked night shift for quite a few years, back in the day. Remember that it told me that I shouldn't come to this until I'm a silver trainer and I'm rank one bronze. I don't think so, Rich. I mean, I can show you the map. But other than that, you can't see it unless I show you. But basically, you should just trust me, alright? No, I get that, Rich, and I should, uh, I should let people look at it more. Okay, I definitely shouldn't have come here this early. I can tell we're going to be in for a challenge. The game told me not to come here. It said, hey, dumbass. Don't go to the Dragon Island. Yo, Bazi, Bright and Cheery area means very dangerous. The Heli Worm. Level 10 off the bat, not bad. But no match for my superior skills, Kaiba. Now, Chanel, you're right. You're absolutely right about that.
All right, we got a Heliworm, which is nice. Level 10. Air fills a gap that we don't have in our roster. Not a dragon, obviously, but... Easy mode. We got ourselves a Helling Worm, we're rocking out. Ah yes, the totally not a Scyther. Guys, it's totally not a Scyther, I said so. Yo, I thought this island was supposed to be hard. Alright, let's go a screen to the right and see what happens. That was obviously the, uh, the easy mode zone. Now we have a fight before they'll even let us in. Oh, look at this, talking trash! Now you wanna fight me, you better bring real dragons. Oh, look at that! That's adorable. I want one. You're darn right, Ski. Get in the battle. I'm low on consumables. I really should have stocked up. That's my bad. In fact, I should probably go to the vendor now, otherwise I'm going to regret it. I know it. A mysterious house on Dragon Island. I don't think that's possible, Rich, but pizza's awesome, so go to it, my friend. I could really go for a fresh cut of pizza right now, let me tell you. smoke heli worms all day. I don't know why they're even bother- uh oh.
Man, I need to get some consumables fast. Blueberry with cream cheese is uh, an epic bagel strategy. Epic. Epic tier. Arcane Siphon. Damage received from the next ghost attack is nullified and restores the damage. So this is a counter ghost ghost move. I don't know why I took that. What the hell am I going to do with that? It's like the most niche usage that I've ever heard of. Alright, I need to buy consumables. Still regular potions here. I mean, uh, yeah, only supers. Dang. Expensive. Skillful. Have you guys noticed that there's no XP share? That's a big deal. I don't even know if I like it anymore. I've been so I've been so used to having it for so many years now. How do I even find a vault to go to with the vault key? I already got a vault key. Uh, I don't know, you know, Rich, we had four gold chests. I don't know if we're gonna make it to the boss. We probably will. It's only a couple fights away. No promises, though. Rich, if you're ever capped on potions, just use them, unless, like, the boss fight's next. This community knows what they're doing. We, we very rarely lose fights, boss fights or otherwise.
Where the hell are these dragons I'm supposed to be able to catch? go back to this is not for tamers of my level yeah what do you know buddy Where are these dragons that these people keep talking about? There's a lot of talk about dragons here, but not a whole lot of dragons. So they're definitely not going to let me in the city. But they just they also said I could catch dragons here. Oh boy. Only citizens are authorized tamers. I don't have any credentials. Come back when I have the reputation. What a meanie. This looks like a haunted area. A very big change of pace from the stuff above. guys in the roots? Are they supposed to be looters or something? Nope, just another mosquito. False alarm. You're not a dragon. Did I ever play Mega Man Legends 1 or 2? Maybe? I was really big into Mega Man when the first Legends hit, I think. Played Mega Man 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. X. And I think that's where I tapered off. Battle Network as well. Oh, look at that. You got your own.
I liked Battle Network a lot, yes. Okay, I have news for these guys. These Heliworms, they're not dragons, so I don't know why they're telling me there's dragons around here. I enjoyed the Battle Network games quite a bit. They were very different. Thank you, Gal- Oh, is that a dragon? I don't think it's a dragon. Let's catch it anyway. That might be a dragon? I don't think it is, though. And we accidentally killed it. That could have gone better, huh? A flotter, you say? Well, that's interesting. Yeah, whoever said I wasn't ready for this island was crazy. Crushing these noobs. Ooh, 50% chance to affect, inflict curse. I don't know what that curse does, but I like it. See, that would have gone really good with that move that made all well, my next three moves do 100% uh, chance to hit. Oh no, wait, it already has 100% accuracy. It's, it's just a... That's a very strange designation. Okay. Oh, snap. It's happening. I was wondering if this was in the game. It looks different. It definitely looks different. Oh, what is this? I want this. This is a ghost. It did not like my grape. Strawberry cake. Everybody loves strawberry. No! Monster Crown suffered from a lot of issues. Just, uh, just presentation, I think. So, I'd say yes. Monster Crown is extremely difficult to maneuver. UI could have used a lot of work in Monster Hunter. Uh, not Monster Hunter. Monster Crown.
It already did release. And wax. Or is it just it's still early is, no, it's not early access anymore, right? It released. Or is it early access now? It released in early access? Is that what happened? Right. Uh, it could get better. They need to do a lot. They need to do a lot with it. Are you sure about that? I think it may have came out. I don't, I don't know. It's so hard these days. Maybe it came out in early access, right? That's where I think it came out. It may have come out in early access. But yeah, it's got a lot of a lot of presentation issues. This is clean and very usable. Yes, this area is very cherry blossom. Very, very cherry. And I was promised dragons if I came here. I haven't seen any. I don't know if it's actually worth the time to spend here anymore, or we should just continue on our quest till we get the uh, the badge. It's pretty bright and shiny, Lance Blitz Gamer. If I'm being honest, I like it a lot more than some of the other indie Pokemon clones. And it is no doubt a Pokemon clone, but... Some really weird enemy designs in this one. I think the fire hydrant was the weirdest one we've seen so far. Alright, so to get in the Dragon Village, you need to up my reputation by doing quests, catching various Nexamon, and other things, as mentioned. Oh, it's battle time! Let's go! If you're not already joining us in Three Meters, you should. It's a ton of fun. Wow, a lot of epics for this battle. We didn't need nearly this much. Are you kidding me, you guys? We're gonna kill this fight without losing a unit, man. There were ten enemies in this fight, okay? Ten. We are not even gonna break a sweat. Somebody should have told me to go early. If you're wondering why none of our units are moving, it's because it's a defensive zone. So they're they're gonna stand their ground until a certain uh, certain time passes, then they'll move. Yes, Lazarus. It was a we placed this map on defensive ground. This is a sort of a siege defense map. So it can actually be strategy when the enemies are actually dangerous. To know that your guys will stand their ground, let the enemy come to them for a certain amount of time. Still, I knew we were going to easy mode this. I like Croc repping the flag there. I see a lot of Dance Next flag bearers, which I really like. We do have a real skin coming. Okay, oh, right. this one, this one you can chill on. This is only a three star. Should be very easy. In fact, if you guys want to tell me to go early on this one, let me know when we've got a critical mass. And we'll do it. going right now. I'm talking about like in 10 minutes or so. If we got it. Yo, I love the Dance Next Flag Bear. It's really cool. And guess what? The Dance Next Super Skin is coming soon. Uh, you know, as long as it takes to do the art. They're really good at doing art over there, so it might be a little bit, but they're, you know, the uh, 
All of the specs have been submitted. And I gotta tell you, I came up with the idea myself, so uh, I can assure you it's pretty amazing. I think I'll leave it a surprise for now. I will tell you that it suits our channel and our brand very well. That wasn't a duck. Oh, you mean the unit, yeah. Maybe it is a duck. Let's just say it's a duck with a lot of Dan flavor to it. Man, this dragon island's so hard, I really wish they told me not to go here. There's not even any dragons. Eventually, are there dragons on the dragon island? Dr. Hammond? Bosby, you're gonna have to dream bigger than that. I went big on this, okay? You're gonna love it. I don't think we're gonna- we're not gonna wander around here and just pray to catch a dragon all day. Should probably just do the main quest line and we'll gain a reputation so that we can go to the cool dragon village. Listen, I want a dragon, but we're just sitting here farming garbage. Like, what's the point? Oh, you were talking about getting night botted. I got you, Amwax. We're not one-shotting most of this yard trash that they throw at me around here. Remember, this is the island they warned me not to go to because they said it would be too hard. Headless doll goth Pokemon is just cleaning house. Sadly, Rubby is no longer with us. Yeah, Bossy, that's actually what it reminded me of, too. I was gonna say that would be the final evolution, right? But that seems weird from where we've come. Is this a dragon? Or is this a rock? Uh, JRC, only our main Pokemon has evolved thus far. And I actually took uh, Singlet out of the party. Because I didn't like him. I mean, JRC, we had much better choices, I assure you. Is this a jargon? What's the rarity on this thing? It doesn't tell me the rarity unless I put it in my party.
Mega rare. All right, Oren's a staple. He's in. Wow, we picked up two mega rares in this island. I guess it's not all bad. Leaf, have a great night, yo. Thank you so much for coming, as always. We got a couple mega rares. I need to find XP share, though, for sure. Like, this is ridiculous. Like, it's just gonna be Hideka getting huge. I wish they... Is there some indication of rarity out... That I can tell on, without, like, you know, capturing it? That would be very useful. I think there is. Do you think it's that thing next to their name? However, I have no idea what the color coding means at all. Since it doesn't show me on my own monsters. There's like a color-coded triangle next to their name. But I don't know how to interpret it. That's, uh, that's probably correct. Thank you, that's very insightful. I think you're right. We meet again, maybe, dragon. It is fire, and I think I have some fire... Oh, good. It didn't proc. Excellent. Okay. Strawberry cake! Really enjoyed it! Nice! Let's give it another one. Forty-eight percent. I like those odds. That sounds delicious, Gals Got Moxie. The smallest offspring of the ancient red dragon. Okay. I think uh, that solves the problem of whether it's a dragon or not. I really don't want to get a, rid of Porklip, but he's only uncommon, and we're all about rarity here. We did! You know, Lance, I liked break sequence breaking here and coming here early to the Dragon Park. We can't really go any further than this, and I'm, I'm definitely tired of grinding garbage. But I'm glad that the game let me go here, at least, and maybe we can work up that char that totally not a Charmander into something interesting. Listen, I love Porklet, okay? Gals got Moxie, I love him a lot, but he's no dragon. Ooh. 
Listen, Lance, we love our porkla here. We're not. We're definitely not turning him into bacon. As much as I love bacon, Parklet will stay uh, stay in storage for now. Dude, we got a dragon. Of course, we could take the dragon. This seems to you embrace classic Pokemon sensibilities, which means the dragon is OP. Okay, all dragons. Classic Pokemon, right? Not current Pokemon. Wait, wait, what were we supposed to do next? Let's check our quest log. We must hurry, go west of the city. I'm, I totally hurried, you guys. I was on top of this mission, you better believe it. I didn't go wandering out to try to hunt down dragons. Yeah, see, he's mega rare. We got three mega rares in the team now. I found a pile of garbage. Wow, take the shards. Take them. I knew holding onto them would be great. I got a dragon whistle from that. And a golden Nexo ball, which is gonna like that's a I'm guessing that's like a mega ball. And the whistles give you like a permanent best chance to catch, so which is really, really good. They're like static items that give you a percent increase to catch that type. That was definitely a worthwhile trade. That's what happens. See, you don't sell your shards, alright? You gotta keep them. Best trade 2020 right there. Can't enter the western woods. All right, fine. I guess I'll go back. They, they want me to go back to the starting town, which has obviously been under attack. A JRPG concept that's never happened. Uh, Rich Dizzy, Grandia 2 is, like, beloved by all, so I don't think it's underrated at all. At all. Like, even in the slightest. I would have to argue your point, sir. Well, you don't hear me talk about it because it's like 20 years old. But believe me, anybody who's played it respects it. And we do talk about it fondly whenever we talk about old RPGs. It comes up in quite a bit of conversation if you believe that. I know we've talked about it extensively at GI when we talk about, like, you know, uh, top games of all time. Oh, look at that! The Cruff. I'm gonna kill this in one shot. This is a rare critter that people want. I see. How about some lemon pie? No, he doesn't like that. Skies of Arcadia? Yeah, people talk about that one, too. Honestly, I think they both come out in the same conversation. Mm. 
nothing I feed him he likes. Nothing. Okay, F this guy. I mean, yeah, we're gonna go sell him. This person wants him for a quest right here. Oh my god, I have to have him in my party? Are you kidding me right now? That's just dumb. Go for it, Rich. Uh oh. I forgot to heal. Uh, Luffy gets plenty of mention too, Duelist. I gotta tell you, it really does. I I'm in a lot of these RPG conversations all the time. And both Luffy and Luffy 2 come up. I promise you. Rich, it's actually very good. In the time period, it was often overlooked for Final Fantasies and, and the like, but it was, uh, after you played Final Fantasy, that's the game you played. Luffy was quite good. I played through it several times, uh, along with the sequel. Yeah, weave into the Dragon Isles, alright? Whatever you guys can come up with ain't gonna do nothing. Guys of Arcadia is very good. There are a lot of really good, great classic uh, RPGs, especially in the SNES era, again. Was beautiful, and the Dreamcast era was, was close on its heels. A lot of great Dreamcast RPGs that are unknown, not unknown, but... Not in the conversation today, because they are ancient, I should say, is the accurate terminology. GameCube, Rich Dizzy. And believe me, there was nothing ever good on that system. Especially not Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles. Yo, we trained in the Dragon Isles. You can't touch me.
Gavin, don't even start with me. My ire for that game is legendary, and will remain so for the for the rest of time. If you want to play it, have fun. I'm glad I did some Dragon Island training. It trivialized this content pretty hard. Look at all these little, uh, look at all these different, uh, Nexomon. There's so many. <laughs> its name is Snush. Jesus Christ. Whatever that thing, it looked like a Snush. fear me, but I don't know who it is. So how am I supposed to fear you? Think about your plan, evil dude. There's lots of great old school RPGs, and a lot of them are coming back. That's the best part. I don't know if uh, everybody heard about this, but remember how I was harping on how they should bring back Final Fantasy Legend 1, 2, and 3? The Game Boy games that have never been on any other platform? They are doing it. It's coming to Switch, and we're going to play it this year. It's going to be beautiful. Those games are so awesome, you're going to love them. We're going to play through them on stream, so don't worry, Gavin. You can count on that. See, that's why I like having a Switch. Sometimes I actually need to break it out. I hate doing it, but it's sometimes. Sometimes. Tyrant Relic? What the hell is that? Hell yeah, Daddy. There you go. Well, then do me a favor and drop a unit. Get in the uh, Stream Raiders, yo. That's my name. Oh, where the hell are we? We found like a haunted forest or something. Powerful witch who lives in the Immortal Citadel. Man. Nice. Who can they're not remakes? I wish they were. But it's straight up gray Game Boy. Yes. Haunted Woods! Crocodile, I think we say, what's the word for it? Inspired by Pokemon. Is that what we say? That's what we say when we're being nice. And when we're being mean, we say it's a Pokemon clone. However, despite this probably being created by several... By many, many less people, I think it's pretty efficient, honestly.
Like I said, inspired is a nice word for it. You can use whatever word you like. Blazing shards. Shards are so important. Never sell them. Oh my god, going to that Dragon Island, man. We're just dunking on everything in this entire zone. A 35% chance to inflict paralyze. That seems terrible. I mean, I'm not even joking, this is probably better than Sun and Moon. <laughs> we are early in it, and the story isn't as good, but it, it doesn't take the story seriously, which you shouldn't in a game like this, in my opinion, so it's doing a pretty darn good job. This game is extremely self-conscious of what it is. Now, Temtem's a different story. I don't, I'm not making any direct comparisons to Temtem, because Temtem is literally is a multiplayer experience. This is not. Temtem has a whole different thing to do, and it's still in early access, and it has to create a competitive endgame environment with trading and all kinds of other elements this game simply doesn't have. I don't even put it... They're not even in the same bucket. speak out of line at all, Max. I'm giving you my perspective. I'm sure some people would be very, very willing to compare this directly to Temtem, but I'm not. Because the nature of the games is actually far different. This game was, you know, when you design a single-player experience, it's very different than creating everything and balancing it around multiplayer. Temtem is a, uh... It's not a service model exactly, but it is a, uh, it's a game that has consistent updates and event changes and all that stuff, I don't think that's a part of this game. This is a single-player experience, one and done. No, oh, a Secret of Mana Clone. Very interesting, daddies. Well, uh, let's fight. Let's fight. Yo, I told you we should have started early on this one. My god, there's not even any enemies. Why didn't somebody tell me to start early? We got like 300 units to kill five spiders. Alright, gold and then boss. Let's do it. We gotta get ready for PvP next week, okay? Act Razor? <laughs> Badlands is dropping next week, daddies, yes, so be, be here for that. If you can't make it for the rest of the weekend shenanigans, that's fine, but... Badlands is dropping sometime next week, and we have PvP next Thursday as well. We will be going extremely, extremely hard out of Badlands. Uh, we don't know which day it's going to drop next week, but it is next week. So that means we're going to have all of Holiday Weekend to do Badlands. 
Isn't that nuts? We're gonna clean that, clean that out twice. I don't know if you saw the Badlands stuff, but it looks awesome. Badlands is the next expansion, Rich. So we're currently on non-event content. Badlands is the next event in the game. Like the subterranean we just finished with. If you didn't notice, Rich, we're... Yeah, for Stream Raiders. We're kind of in a generic overworld now. The rewards kind of not, are not as good overall. And there's no battle pass. So events are way better than standard play. We're kind of in the uh, in a very brief lull between events right now. Oh man, I need an egg tart and a meat to get a ghost whistle. I definitely want that. That's okay, Rich. You can be deep in it. Just just come hang out with us, you know. JRC, the whistles give you a permanent. Secret number? What the hell? The whistles are permanent items that you have, so they're permanent buffs to your catch rate for that type of, uh, Nexamon. I mean, there's no way I got it right. That guy's just programmed to give it to me for any number, right? So, yeah, JRC, if you get an electric whistle, that means you have a better percent chance to catch electric, uh, Pokemon. You know what, I'm just gonna call them Pokemon from now on, I don't care. Yeah, I have a feeling that I was gonna get it right no matter what. You get that feeling? I have a feeling that may have not have been exactly fair. Is there a, uh, God, is there a freaking healer in this town? What the hell is this? This ghost village. I know there's not. This is just sort of a... Maybe we should talk to people. Yeah, this is Toad's Lavender Town. There's some big rumors about Lavender Town. One of, uh... One of gaming's biggest urban legends, or is it? Or is it real? Well, I didn't want to fight, but I guess if you want to, if you insist. This one's name is Lovin' You. Do you believe this? Is Brave Story a deep enough reach for a JRPG? What does that mean, Duelist? Can you clarify that? They didn't even try with this one. It's called War, but it's just a spider. the stone letter. Okay, good. I did a side quest and I didn't even know it. That's exploration for you. Here's a localization error. Beak into my house! I don't even care. I commend these dudes and dudettes who made this game, let me tell you. Beak into my house. Hey, good night, who can. Have a great one.
Yo, don't beacon in my house, yo. Nice items, but I don't think there's a healer here. We're gonna have to use items. We've got so many different places we can explore now, this is nuts. There's like five different directions. Yes, Shredder, that is what I said. Are you familiar with the term? No, it's what we used to call items. Rich Dizzy links are not allowed in chat. Not that I'm not I'm not upset with you. Just that it's gonna turn your link into a bunch of stars. That's a spam prevention thing, don't worry about it. I don't know, that was old enough that it might have only been in the magazine. For archival purposes, I'm not sure. You might have to dredge up an old issue to find it. So we got in the haunted man. I mean, you, if you give me access to a haunted mansion, I'm gonna check it out. We should get 10 Nexo Traps for Alfred. Get an XP booster. I don't have 10 on me. get them though, so we're gonna do that. I don't know, Rich, who said that? I mean, I know who said it, but who do you think said it? Oh, he didn't give us anything. I hate this guy. Let's check out the mansion before we go do his stupid quest. Okay, there's only one of the room in here. Cool. Big mansion.
You get used to it, Rich. First time it happens, it's really cool. Second time it's still really cool, but like, you know, after a while, it's just, it's just part of like living. Three Nexamon going rampant, we have to find three. That is clearly one of them, my goodness. Well, I know what that's like, Rich. That's what I went to school for. Precisely, but... Alright, whoa! Okay, this is actually very serious. Jesus. Electric was very nice. For free. Two more incidents here in the Immortal Citadel. I don't know where they're at. This looks like it could be one. Totally not the secret of Vanna Cat Vendor. Right there. They ain't lying. I mean, they just say it. It's hilarious.
Uh, I have a degree, Rich Dizzy. Oh, that wasn't even one of the encounters. That was a vault key encounter. Interesting. Uh, this is my second vault key, and I don't have any, uh... I still haven't found a vault. Cave to the east. Good. Good, good. Which I too spent some time working for a university. Do I, Rich? Well, like I said, I, uh, I did work in higher ed for a while. I don't know who it is. Nobody told me. Oh yeah, JV, yeah, sure. Yosh, thank you so much for the follow. Thanks for being here. See, we, we do it all here, Yosh, so, uh, we got higher red, we got Pokemon games, we got stream writers, we got a little bit of everything. Oh, jeez, what the hell is this thing? Uh, Crocodile, thanks so much for the uh, gift of sub to Ayosh, our new, our newest member of the higher ed, not Pokemon, stream Raider group. Thanks for being here, Ayosh, and Crocodile, thank you for getting up to 23 gift subs in the channel. Thank you so much. Just wait, Croc. Just wait till you see the new skin we're getting in Stream It's the same. That's all I have to say. Plant Whistle, awesome. Very good stuff. This way didn't lead us to the encounter we were looking for, but it did give us quite a bit of loot, which is nice. 
I'm going to assume by the design here, the other encounter is to the right. Since we had one north, well, we had one in the city. One left. Why not put one right? Alright, let's catch this dumb thing. We got him down to 1 HP with one hit. Got him for the sweet rep gains, so we can go to the Dragon Town someday. Exactly, Aosh, exactly. Alright, like ten different people in the city have told me about the cursed tree that talks. Told not to trust it. That's like the third villain right there. just killed one of these things, so I'm not really concerned. This is a big one, though. This is definitely a boss tier folly curse. Should be no match for us. You know, Ayosh, the art in this, I, I honestly don't mind it. It's a lot better than a lot of the other Pokemon clones. I can't actually wait to see what the third evolution for my Hedica is. Maybe it's not like, you know, the most, uh, the best art I've ever seen, but it's very clean. Joe Mad is a different story altogether. You can always go play Battle Chasers, Rich. Why is the shopkeeper still on my screen? Go away! I mean, I was talking to him. Hopefully when I talk to another person, he'll go away. Nah, this is a bug. Don't worry about it. I told you we could get rid of him. Oh, come on, I just wanted to complete this quest. I 
we have to fight Kiss now? It truly is terrifying. Hey, I mean, at least they have animations, right? Yeah, so this fire is amazing, isn't it? My potions are- oh, I'm sick. Somebody put sick on me. I can't potion or something. How the hell do we check out the status effect? Can I use an ether? What does it do? I guess I just can't heal when I'm sick. Okay, got it. Doing math here. Real tough fight. That trip to the Dragon Island really helped first. And Max, have a great night, yo. We can hatch our own Tyrant of Light to fight the Tyrant of Darkness. This is really, really serious story stuff, gang. Oh, Rich, I don't know if we're going to be doing that tonight. I might do that tomorrow. Let's roll. Oh, yeah, we're gonna do the boss. The boss is next, right? Okay, we can do one more. That's fine. No, it's next. It's cool. We can do one more. Yeah, yeah, I hear you, Rich. It's cool. I thought we were like three away, but we're like right there. So it's cool. Nicely done, gang. Gold chest to boss chest, isn't that nice? I mean, even on a even on a non-event. Let's do the dragon's nest. We got to what? Two level one dragons. This should be nothing for you guys. A lot of trash mobs. I 
All right, drop the good stuff. This is the uh, the last fight of the night. I won't BRB. All right, what the golf? Boop. This is going to be the last for the night. Uh, if you had a good time here tonight, consider liking, consider sharing. I won't even tell you to subscribe because uh, that's up to you. But consider liking or sharing. Yeah, what the golf uh, seems like something that would be interesting to play for sure. I know, JRC, I know you do. Thanks for being here. Underground volcanic city in the middle of a desert. This is great. Keep heading east. Gotcha. I don't know, Rich. They're doing the math, what can I say?
Hash browns are delicious, Rich. And Lazarus. And chat. Oh, cool. Hey, Nummy for you, what's up? I don't know if we're doing Extra Life this year, Nummy for you, or how that's gonna work. I'd love to let you know, but I don't know. How am I supposed to go east? Can't go east. Uh, Chroma, the Abyssal Tyrant. I could take him. It's a bunny. Four ghost nexa traps, get out of here. That's correct, Num. But the, the issue is we are not physically located in a space that we would normally do for uh, extra life currently. I don't know how that will change in the next few months, if it will change. So I can't speak to that at this time. No, there will there will not be a BlizzCon this year. No. That's already announced. I just don't know what the nature of Extra Life will look like this year, if there is an Extra Life at all. I, I mean, I just don't know. I don't know if anybody knows. Like, I mean, maybe we could do it digitally? I don't know. I just don't know. That's not a question for me. At this time. I'm sure we'll know more about that in a few months. 
to, to, as, as to what and when. Yes, Croc, I completely agree. At the end of the day, that will not be uh, that will not be my decision to make. Um, so I don't know what to tell you. I, I don't get to make. I'm not making that call. I don't know what it's going to look like. I don't know if it's going to happen. I don't know how it's going to happen. But uh, yeah, certainly I can say that I will. I will probably be there, depending on how it is performed and my other responsibilities at the time. But saying anything with certainty right now is very difficult in that regard. Like, we are not working together currently, Shrouded. We're still work from home, and will be for the foreseeable future. I don't know, Lazarus, again, that's more complicated because we, we can't throw pies at each other because we're not seeing each other. I, I don't know how it's going to work. You should talk to uh, some other individuals, like the video team, about that. Hey, thanks, Lance. You too. Thanks for coming, man. That I definitely want. That's a discount voucher because a permanent reduction in cost of stuff. Very powerful. Gotta get this anti-poison stuff to that dude we found though. We're just not gonna leave a guy out there to die. He wasn't actually hurt at all. Cool. That was fun. Twenty twenty, the NPC right there. Shredded. I'm sure there's all kinds of really cool challenges we could do. Uh, I think again. I'd like to commit to all that stuff now, but let's, we're just going to have to wait. You know I'm all about doing dumb stuff for the kids. Uh, 
I, I do hope that this year we can uh, continue to donate to that charity and, and have the event, but I just don't know how it's going to work or if it's going to work. Wow, this is a big quest. This is a heavy quest. He's taking a tyrant. Yeah, no, I would. I think we, uh, I think Peppers got outlawed last year, though, because of the, the damage they can do to you. I'm not entirely certain. I was working during the event, so I missed most of it. Oh man, destroyed paradise down here. Stackable bonuses in this game. Damn! Thanks for the follow. You're a supreme champion, Duck. Thanks for being here, yo. Where did I find Drere? I found him in uh, the the Drake Island, the Dragon Island. I did a bunch of random encounters till he popped up. I didn't get to this town or anything, but uh, he was out in just the wildlands with all the garbage, the other garbage tier mons. Yeah, yeah, he was pretty cool, right? I haven't actually used him though because my main is just doing so much work. Sure, as evolution is beast. I got myself a D buzz.
swear to God, Malk, you're the worst person in the world. Every time you do that, I think my neighbors are pissed that I'm... That one I was ready for. God, it's still unnerving. Huh, where the hell am I supposed to go? Yeah, numb for real. I, uh, it got me. It's gotten me. He got me really bad with it earlier tonight. Which I'm sure has been clipped a thousand times at this point. What am I supposed to do in here? Numb Euphoria, thanks so much for the sub. Really do appreciate it. And I hope I can uh, provide you with quality content. Hey, Numb, I'm not the guy- <laughs> Uh, it's been real busy lately, let me put it that way, okay? We, uh, we're hoping to round out the crew in the coming months. With some, uh, some new hires, but right now, like, it's- it's very difficult to be on stuff like that. With all of my other responsibilities and duties. But for real, I appreciate the sub and the kind words. So apparently this burning doesn't go away, it just stays on me forever. That's handy. Seventeen percent with a fire trap. Fifty-two. Not bad. Not not great. This thing's got to like rice, right? Nope. Nope.
Hmm, I'm definitely missing some. Oh, must maybe those things? The pile of things? Or the of those teleporters? I don't know. Oh, what is this? Whatever it is, we want it. Oh, we like the donut. Great. Resupply fist stuff. Okay, sure, why not? Hmm, I don't know if I'm adequately prepared for this fight. I should have thought about that. Crap, I have no more potions, and these guys are all like way higher level than my dudes. Can I run? I don't have no potions. I have no healing. Oh my god, these level 10s are gonna get destroyed. Uh, JRC, yes, you are. I'm telling you right now, you are, yes. I believe we're going for a, uh, a complete run here. None of my characters have levels! Bosby, thank you. I know not every- not a- hey, listen, I play a lot of games here, not everyone's gonna like every one of them. That's the reality of the situation, I understand it. And believe me, I do. And that, it's time for the big boss fight in Stream Raiders. If you haven't joined us in Stream Raiders, you should. It's a ton of fun, this is the big boss fight of the night. I think we're gonna destroy it. We got tons of epic units on the field. All the action at the center of the bell. Malkor decided to fight that one dragon himself. Wasn't a great strategy. Didn't work out for him. You know, we're, we're definitely outnumbered, but I think we'll take it. We have so many epics on the field. That's a lot of freaking spiders, though, man. Yeah, Shrouded, you're currently in the lead with 22 kills. Pretty nice. But Bosby took it. Bosby had his mage up there just blowing spiders up.
Crocodile, PvP night is Thursday. It's only one night a week. It's a big uh, contest kind of thing. Congrats on your boss chest, y'all. That is going to be it for stream meters tonight. We're going to finish up this fight, and then we're going to call it. If you had fun here tonight, consider liking, consider sharing, consider subscribing, you know. I know that's a lot. But uh, we're going to have more fun tomorrow night. Maybe even during the day. You know me on Saturdays. Saturdays we can start early, real early. And yeah, I know not everybody loved it, but we're probably going to finish this game. Based on our experience tonight. Nare! Thank you so much for the follow. What game was that? The one we were just playing was Stream Raiders. We play it every day here. It's a game where you play with the streamer. It's kind of like a giant raid type game with like all kinds of fantasy archetypes. Mages, archers, tanks, berserkers. I mean, there's a ton of crap. Uh, you can check it out at the link. Thank you, Num. We are going to call it here. It has been an enchanted evening, a great five hours hanging out with you guys. You know, I didn't used to stream Fridays. But I do, and I love it, and I'm glad you're here. Uh, I hope you have a great evening. We'll be back tomorrow with more of this game. I know, I know. Hey, if you didn't like the game, come back for Stream Raiders. We'll definitely be playing that, obviously. And uh, we'll have some great conversations. As we always do. Uh, I hope you have guys have a wonderful evening. Have a great night. I hope you had a good week. If you didn't, let's have a good weekend together. All right. Hey, and don't forget. Here's my line. Uh, as always, tell a friend. Okay. We do cool stuff here. Tell somebody about cool stuff we do. All right. Peace out. I'll see you tomorrow like to start early on Saturdays, so uh, be aware. There might be two streams. It might be a daytime and nighttime, or I might just start the nighttime one a little earlier. Never know what's going to happen. I will see you then. Have a great evening.